Good evening and welcome to the State Road A1A Safety Improvements Public Meeting. My name is Richard Smith and I am the Project Manager with the Florida Department of Transportation. During the meeting, we will present information on the department's plans to improve safety and enhance operations through this project. We encourage your feedback and during the presentation, we will provide multiple ways you can submit your questions and comments to us about this project. All comments and questions will be responded to in writing and will become part of the public meeting record. I will now turn it over to our project team to begin the presentation. Thank you. Meeting information is being provided in multiple ways to allow the community to receive information about the project and provide input. This meeting is being conducted in person and virtually through GoToWebinar. The presentation is also available on the project webpage at www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 992400-3. For online participants, the GoToWebinar controls should be visible in the upper right corner and across the bottom of your computer screen. If joining GoToWebinar on your mobile device, simply tap the screen to see the toolbar. The blue arrows point to where you will find the question box. You can type a comment or question into the question box on your desktop or mobile app. If joining from your computer, you may download handouts by clicking on the icon as shown by the red arrow. Click on the file name to download. If you happen to experience a technical issue during this meeting, please type the issue in the questions box on the control panel on GoToWebinar or send an email to chuck at valerin-group.com to report it. You may also call 1-833-851-8340. Staff will do their best to assist you. This public meeting was advertised and is being conducted in accordance with state and federal requirements, including Title VI of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Public participation is solicited without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express their concerns about Title VI may do so by contacting Melissa McKinney, District 5 Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Mail Station 501, Deland, Florida, 32720, by phone at 386-943-5077, or email melissa.mckinney at dot.state.fl.us. You may also contact Stefan Kulikowski, State Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 605 Swanee Street, Mail Station 65, Tallahassee, Florida, 32399-0450, by phone at 850-414-4742, or email at stefan.kulikowski at dot.state.fl.us. This information is shown on a sign at the in-person location, on the project website, and in the meeting notifications. The purpose of tonight's meeting is to explain the project goals, present the department's recommended improvements to help achieve those goals, and hear from the community about the proposed changes. This project is located in Cape Canaveral on State Road A1A, from Hayes Avenue to Johnson Avenue, and from Taylor Avenue to Tyler Avenue. The Financial Project Identification Number, or FPID, for this project is 992400-3. The purpose of this project is to enhance pedestrian safety and encourage safer driving speeds. The Florida Department of Transportation conducted pedestrian studies that looked at pedestrian activity and assessed existing operating conditions along State Road A1A. The first study was done between Taylor Avenue and Tyler Avenue and looked at crash data between January 1, 2020 and December 31, 2022. During that time frame, there was a total of seven crashes, with four resulting in injuries. 
On February 17, 2023, a pedestrian was struck by a moving vehicle while crossing State Road A1A at a location just north of this study area. Tragically, this incident resulted in the loss of life of the pedestrian. The second study was conducted from south of Hayes Avenue, Lunar Avenue, and north of Johnson Avenue, Cocoa Palms Avenue, and analyzed available crash data between July 1, 2020 and June 30, 2023, during which time there were 15 crashes, with four resulting in injuries. Based on these assessments, and after discussions with both the City of Cape Canaveral and Brevard County, the Department is recommending the construction of pedestrian island refuges to facilitate two-stage crossing opportunities within both study areas. Currently, the segment of State Road A1A between South Hayes Avenue, Lunar Avenue, and Johnson Avenue, Cocoa Palms Avenue, is a four-lane divided highway with a two-way center turn lane. The project proposes constructing the concrete pedestrian refuge island in the center lane near Grant Avenue in front of the 7-Eleven to enhance safety without changing access to any side streets or driveways. FDOT will also be installing a pedestrian warning sign with a flashing beacon in advance of the refuge to alert drivers of the possible presence of pedestrians. Construction of two similar pedestrian refuge islands is proposed in the two-way left turn lane on State Road A1A between Taylor Avenue and Tyler Avenue. One will be located at Taylor Avenue at the site of the future Civic Hub. Another refuge island is proposed at Polk Avenue in front of City Hall. Another pedestrian warning sign with a flashing beacon will be installed in advance of the refuge areas. The proposed pedestrian island refuges at Taylor Avenue and Polk Avenue are designed to be interim safety measures as the City of Cape Canaveral develops long-term pedestrian solutions that also consider the future Civic Hub project adjacent to City Hall. The Civic Hub project includes closing off a portion of Taylor Avenue to vehicular traffic to create a pedestrian plaza. As seen in the artist's rendering of the proposed improvements on State Road A1A at Taylor Avenue, a pedestrian refuge island allows pedestrians to focus on one direction of traffic at a time as they cross and gives them a place to wait for an adequate gap in oncoming traffic before finishing the second phase of a crossing. As long-term options are being developed and funded, these pedestrian refuge islands can be constructed relatively quickly to enhance safety in the interim. The pedestrian refuges proposed near Grant Avenue and Polk Avenue will be similar to the one depicted here. If the department proceeds with this concept, the design of this project is anticipated to be complete in early 2025 at an estimated combined cost of $15,000. The improvements on this project will be within the existing right-of-way. Construction for this project is funded for summer 2025 at an estimated cost of $50,000 for both project areas. We encourage your input and feedback about this project, and there are multiple ways for you to participate. All public comments and questions are part of the public meeting record and every method for providing public comments and questions carries equal weight. While comments and questions will be accepted at any time, those submitted by September 9, 12 days after the public meeting, will become part of the project's public meeting record. All comments and questions will be responded to in writing. To submit a comment or question online, please type the comment or question in the question box on GoToWebinar. Written comments may also be submitted on the project website at www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 992400-3. You may also contact FDOT Project Manager Richard Smith directly by email 
at richard.smith at dot.state.fl.us or by U.S. mail at the Florida Department of Transportation, 719 South Woodland Boulevard, mail station 562, The Land, Florida, 32720. You may also call Mr. Richard Smith at 386 943 5326 to provide verbal comments during normal business hours. The contact information is also available on the public meeting notification that you may have received by mail. To learn more about this project, go to www.cflroads.com. Type the project number 992400-3 in the search box at the top right and click Go. Then click on the project name. Public meeting materials are posted on the website now. On behalf of the Florida Department of Transportation, thank you for attending this public meeting and providing your input on this project. If you have comments or questions after the meeting, please submit them by September 9, 2024. The 2055 Florida Transportation Plan update process is going on now and FDOT encourages all of our communities and partners to participate in the process. The 2055 FTP will be a comprehensive statewide blueprint guiding Florida's 30-year transportation future. The FTP will have statewide goals and regional objectives, empowering our communities to develop local strategies around the FTP's common framework. This way, the local strategies will be able to fit within the fabric of each community's unique needs. The plan will be developed through steering committee guidance, focus group support, and comprehensive community engagement, both partner and public engagement. Not sure what the FTP is all about or want to learn more? Please visit FloridaFTP.com to see how you can participate. Join a focus group attend a webinar or regional workshop, or simply provide your comments and feedback. Join us as we build our transportation future together. Have a good evening.